I was at someone's house and I wasn't feeling too well. Okay. And I went to the bathroom, but the bathroom wasn't working. <laughs> and it went horrifically wrong. Bear in mind, black men don't cheat, by the way. Just let you know. Hi, I'm Tony Mack, director, filmmaker, and storyteller. Amongst my peers, the narratives around dating have felt really toxic and negative of late. So I wanted to create a space to have fun, honest, and grounded conversations. It's time to change the story. This is Dating Black. Are you single, dating, in a committed relationship, or it's complicated? It's complicated. You damn liar. <laughs> 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 I'm playing. I'm married. I'm married. <laughs> oh, I, I'm engaged. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Brand, brand new. I made it. Yeah, it's complicated. It's complicated. Mm. I hope the complications straighten out soon. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm dating. Better. You're dating. Committed relationship. Right. How's that going for you? It's going great stuff. Yeah. Going very, very good. That's yeah, sweet. Sweet. Come on, man. It <laughs> represents my life. I am embarrassingly single. It's wow. been like that for a minute. Why is it embarrassing? Fam! How am I single? Like, what? The streets don't love me, man. No, every time... It's funny, every time I try and leave the game, the streets keep pulling me back. I'm in a committed relationship. Yeah. I'm, I'm in... Do you know what I mean? My thing is pattern, fully, from top to bottom. Mine is the opposite of that still. I'm single. Okay. I'm currently in a relationship, I would say. Very serious. Mm. What about you? Very serious. <laughs> Very serious relationship? Yeah. Really? OK, so can you explain what you mean by the streets keep pulling you back? What about the streets? Is it the women? Is it that your eyes are wandering? Like, what is it? OK, so are we go we're going to be comfortable and honest here. Yeah. I might have a bit of a wandering eye sometimes, but a respectful wandering eye. And at the same time, like a kid in a candy shop, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I see I want something and it's not actually what I want, but it tastes sweet to begin with. And then, you know, not all that glitters is gold, so. It's good, it's quite young, fresh, but is um, committed for sure. Mm. Young, fresh and committed, that's how you describe it. Are you enjoying? I'm learning. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> no, the answer. That one is. Mm? So it's complicated. It's complicated. No, no, it's not complicated, man. It's not complicated still. These lot are moving like we're playing Never Have I Ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's complicated. Is this cool? Yeah, man's. I'm in something. Yeah. Wow, you struggle to say. <laughs> <laughs> Committed relationship. Oh. Yes. So you next in next in line for the for the ring. He's the only one in line. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's the last pick. Like, <laughs> what about yourself? I'm single. Okay. I'm very single. Yeah. Okay. I'm minding my business though. Okay, so you're not single and available. You're just no, I'm just not going single, to single and. I'm just I'm just working. But I have genuinely tried sometimes to like leave the game, but for one reason or another, me and said individual have just not been able to hit it off. Mm. And that's fine. I'm sure she's living her life. We had some dates around this place, actually. Stratford, goddamn. They were good dates, yeah, man. But I'm blocked in it, so. You're blocked? Block. Oh, oh. Yeah, what block, did you, block. What did you do? It wasn't like I did anything. It was more of the fact that I just didn't think me and her... It was very toxic after a while. After three, four years of the same thing, I'm just like, you should want better for yourself. I want better for myself. We're clearly not going anywhere. Let's just end it. And she didn't appreciate that, and then... She went cold turkey, and now I'm vegan. Can you describe dating black in the UK right now with one word? Optimistic. Really? Why is that your word? Because of what I've experienced. Chaotic. Sensational. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are in completely different parts of the dating spectrum. I think confusion. I think freedom. I think jungle. Optimistic because it happened weirdly. Not that I was directly looking, but I didn't expect me to feel a way about someone so yeah. soon, so quickly after. Vibes. Everybody, like, has different views on the way things are supposed to go, in it? And that's why you have, like, you have all of the women saying one thing, you have all of the men saying something. And even within those different genders, there's different things that people aren't, don't agree on and stuff like that. I feel like everyone tries to overcomplicate it, try to overcook it, 
like, I love white people, you know. They'll meet on the first day and they'll get married for 20 years. But there's talking stage here. There's, you need to buy this and you need to take me here. I feel like it's so overcomplicated and like, I feel like everyone's just vibing and I feel like people lie to themselves. I lie to myself. People say they want one thing and when it actually comes, they're like, ooh. Men in general, we're living life in this dating scene, let me not lie. Like, there's, there's a lot of beautiful... That's interesting. There's a, there's, a, there's a lot of beautiful women out there. The, the, the bar is low, apparently. Men are trash, so even if you even show some out of responsibility, you're already in the top 20%. <laughs> I thought it was just dating that's long, like. You see, when you're saying dating black... Dating in general, now I'm but like, dating black... But maybe it's because it's all I've known, innit? Do you know what I mean? I haven't ever dated outside of my race. So, dating in general is long, to me. <laughs> that's all I know, it's long, yeah, it's cash long. loss. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's, yeah, cash loss, let's say cash loss. Chaotic, but I think in terms of, like, I'm just optimistic in relation to, like, what I see around me. At the same time, I know a lot of people complain, this, mm. that, but I see a lot of positive things still happening, I still see... People are still making it happen. It's like the whole plane thing, isn't it? It's only if the plane crashes, that's when people talk about it. But all the ones that go well, no one really conversates. But on the point of that, like, chaos can still be quite a good thing as well, because sometimes you need chaos to be able to move forward. So mm. it can also be flipped in a positive manner as well. I don't want chaos. Mm. No, don't I want chaos. don't want it at all. Organised chaos is a good thing. I don't thing. want... What's organised chaos in, in, mm. in a romantic sense? In a romantic sense. setting. No, it could, it? but it could be something like, they do something that's like really out there, takes you out of your comfort zone. Like, because remember, a relationship is all about growing. And as, and as a result, sometimes you don't always grow in the same way. You need to kind of grow in very different ways to really like, achieve your true potential yeah. within a relationship. I don't know, when you slap the black on it, it just mm, it makes it... beautiful. It makes it... It makes it... Think about just dating. It makes it different and... Cool. I, yeah, one word is hard to slap on it. Because I've dated outside of my race, I know that dating within your race is easier. Mm. Do you feel like men are trash? I don't personally. feel like I don't feel like men are trash personally, but I definitely have lost a lot of faith in men because of my experiences personally. I think the landscape, like what you're seeing out there at the moment, is there's lots of things people are projecting certain things. They're trying to kind of give like say, certain sense of false selves. Like a lot of it's pushed through social media. Like, are we really going back to old school stuff where like you meet someone, really get to know them? A lot of it is kind of who you are and almost like what value can you add to me rather than just actually connections. So I, that's, what I, that's what I mean by K. That, that makes sense. I'm assuming you have a lot of female friends, right? I do have a lot of female friends. Uh, so the conversations that you have with your female friends, some are in relationships, some yeah. are not, would you say it's just as equal on the other side? In a sense of their curiosity for other men, so they could be in a relationship, mm -hmm. but they're curious about other guys? Oh, they definitely, it's not the same. It's not the same. You find in your, in your social circle. In my it's not... social circle, yeah. If they're in relationships, they're not asking about other men or checking for other okay. guys at all. If a woman was going to do whatever, mm -hmm. they, they thought about it and they're very aware. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, I, yeah, I made this. Yeah, yeah. I already made this. You agree? I do. No, I already I'm made this, but you're only just <laughs> clocking now. But I've been knowing about this. I'm is what I'm saying. I'm intentional about everything. Yeah. So... I think about everything for a while before I do it. Exactly. Whereas. We, men, men are just, you we, are winging it. We're afforded that though, we're afforded it because, yeah, because we can, we, we can, we, we are afforded the grace. Mm. I'd, I'd wish you lot afforded us grace because I don't feel like men afford women the same grace that we give them. We do. It's, you know what it is, yeah? You know what it is, the pride thing. If no one knows, you'd be surprised. <laughs> for us lot still in the jungle, what's your advice for us to get out? <laughs> Don't be too picky, man. Nah, pick a, pick anyone. Don't be too picky. <laughs> but you see when the pickings is slim. These streets are dangerous, you know. They're risky. Like Charlie Mace said, I only have one heartbreak left. I'm, I'm flatlining after that. Big up to Charlie Mace. The first thing you need to do is wake up. <laughs> <laughs> to wake up and smoke all the coffee that's available to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you know what it is, yeah? I think, I think you first need to learn and know about yourself well. Mm. So are we describing the dating scene as a jungle? Yeah. Already is, I don't see as, the dating scene as a dating scene, do you know what I mean? Like, okay. you'll find love. Not even you'll find it, it will come when it's your time. Sometimes chill out on the, on the requirements, like, no one's gonna be perfect. I said settle. Settle. <laughs> nah, not, not, not settle. Settle. I'm not saying settle, but, yeah. like, you need to understand, like, can you live with it? All right, cool, yeah, we can manage it, innit? innit? We can... But who you want isn't outside anymore. Possibly. They're, they're working from home. <laughs> they're not outside They're on Zoom anymore. calls. They're inside, settled down, mm. settling. 
You need to know what makes you happy, what you don't like, what you're compatible with, the kind of things that you would like, how you would like to be loved, do you know what I mean? All of that kind of stuff. When you get to that place and you know that, right, you don't actually need someone else's input in order to feel loved and all the rest of it, then you can start looking at, yeah, right, cool, how can I bring someone else into this equation now? Do you know what I mean? Some people like the streets. Uh, some people ain't ready to grow up yet. Some people ain't ready to commit. Commitment, I don't want to say commitment's scary, but it challenges you. Are you ready for that type of challenge? You have to be realistic with yourself because you're actually responsible for another human being as you coming together. And I, I'd rather you be honest with yourself and be like, I'm not ready for this, than string someone along, they fall in love with you, and boom, heartbreak. Do you know what's so funny? I was talking to my friend the other day and he was saying that the only reason why, well, not the only reason, but he settled down because his friendship group settled down. Is that like a thing for guys? Yeah. For nah. no? It definitely is. Yeah. It can Some be. Guys, yeah. It can be. Yeah. Like there was a point where, and it didn't necessarily happen to myself, but there was a point where I could feel pressure mm. because a few of like my missus friends were getting married, and then it was like, oh yeah, so. But I don't like. Do you know that. what I mean? I like, like, what are you that, saying? You know? Like you when other, when other people get engaged, certain women or adults start turning to like. Yeah, need, like, let them enjoy what yeah, they're doing yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah. Like, it's their moment. Yeah, don't but overshadow yeah, yeah. their thing. It's like so. that. It's like that. But you will definitely feel pressure now. No. You, he's mm. not looking. Listen, man and woman, you go for what you want as well. 100%. If you see something, yeah, yeah. you shoot 100%. for it as well, man, so that you're not, you don't get left with um, leftovers, man. You get me? You get, your, you get your first pick. For real, bro. You know I feel you? like one of you doesn't really take to women shooting their shot. Do you know what I mean? Are oh, you talking about me? Yeah, I just feel why, like... Why, why, didn't, why didn't you just say me? Yeah, but I just wanted to frame it that way. I don't, not take, I don't not take to it at all, still. I'm very much an advocate of that, innit? But what I'm saying is that if, you, if, you're, if you're doing that, then just know it's not always going to work. Mm. And I think, I think women don't do the shooting shot. They try and slam dunk. You're actually trying to slam dunk. <laughs> you're not shooting shot, you're slam dunking. So you don't even have any sort of, like, rapport with, it, with this person for you to actually say certain things, you know what I mean? Or you're just, you're just jumping the gun and be like, oh yeah, I like you. If he was to propose now, would she say no? No. Uh, then you're not pushing for it. No, as in like, I'm the one that's making the steps towards it. No, but, no, you know, but you're the has, only She has nothing that to do with the yeah, engagement. This is you. You. I know what she wants as well, in terms of a ring. Are you sure? I know. So go get it then. Do you hate me? Are you saying <laughs> <laughs> To get out of these streets is just like whether or not you're ready to commit and have something long-term and fruitful. I feel like the more people are genuine, you would have less thing like, oh, men are this, men are that. They don't know how to commit. Bear in mind, black men don't cheat, by the way. Just to let you know. And I think just giving people the benefit of the doubt as well. So one of the things you mentioned was that, you know, like, when you're looking for people, you're always looking for, like, the finished article. And one thing I've come to realise recently is that not every, we're not finished. You're never really going to be finished. You never arrive. And if I want that, that kind of grace extended for myself, it should be the same, same way as you, you know what I mean? So have you guys ever been, like, the toxic person in a relationship? <laughs> I'm you not a toxic person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I have. But what's, just don't what's know toxic? It. Like just cheating and stuff. No, that's not just toxic. There's yeah, loads that, of things. Well, Gaslighting. Yeah, yeah. All, 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 all of the buzzwords. All of the buzzwords. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I haven't, I haven't done like gaslighting or something no. like that. But I yeah, don't think so. Anyway. Definitely. Nah, I've lied. I've lied. I've lied. I've lied. No, lying is not necessarily gaslighting. Yeah, gaslighting's worse. Yeah. Guess yeah, that's worse. Like, you lie all the time. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm playing. I don't want to get in trouble. So how are we defining toxic? Because there's future toxic, mm. and then there's your childish toxic. So what... Which level are you? Where are you? Between childish and future, I where do you sit? I'm nowhere near future. That man is in a different... But then again, I could... No, I'm not near future, because I don't have a Laurie Harvey. But um, I'd say I'm on the childish side of toxic. OK. Yeah. Mm. So you need a bit of growing up to do or... <laughs> I can't confirm or deny. I plead the fifth. Never. Nah. Nah. <laughs> the thing is, yeah. <laughs> do you know how funny? Do you know what it is? Yeah, yeah trust me. You know what it is? Nah, do, 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 do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Listen, I'm categorically not toxic. But because I'm so not toxic, it's kind of toxic at times. I don't know. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, At the okay, time wait, of a relationship. Wait. Yeah. What is fun about being toxic in a relationship? Just the, the adrenaline <laughs> rush that you get to go outside and do more. I've, no one's ever said to me, you're an absolute, like, dickhead, for a better word of it. And, like, 
kept that. It may have been in the moment, yeah. but it's never been like long term. And I kind of feel like some of those things need to be long term to be deemed as toxic. Okay, I'll that take you lots. Look, I'll take you lots' word for it. Nah, that, look <laughs> <laughs> that, look, that, that look was crazy. That look was crazy. Listen, listen. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Sometimes it's just for the story to tell, like, right? yeah. <laughs> or you're losing, so you have to get one up on them. And yeah, 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 yeah. You can't yeah. go out with an L. Like, you have so to. At the end of a relationship, you yeah. always end up being the toxic person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end, yeah, it's yeah, always yeah. you. At it's the end, man. You're, you're like, fuck it, man. This is going nowhere anyway. Yes, you know what you've done right and what you've done wrong. And I feel like that's what it comes down to. But at the end of the day, you can't choose if you're a villain and someone else's story or not. Tell me your funniest dating story. I was at someone's house and I wasn't feeling too well. Okay. And I went to the bathroom, but the bathroom wasn't working. <laughs> and it went horrifically wrong. That's all I'll say. OK, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it went horrifically wrong. I feel like I was aggrieved because I had to wait over an hour. Yeah, I had to wait over an hour. So when she finally arrived, I just left. I like activity dates, but I'm really shit at activity dates. Genuinely, I'm a very competitive person. I've lost quite a few of golf sessions, and my ego and my pride as a man has been bruised. I appreciate you did the whole yeah. makeup thing, you got all dolled up, but you knew about this. Everything was evident, you knew that. It's not like I told you on the day. You yeah, but sometimes you can't get your lashes on. It's tight. It takes an, an extra 30 minutes. I like the fact that you're defending. 100% I hear you. Yeah, don't go on bowling dates, man. Especially when you're drunk. Why it's not then? cute, man. How can you be hitting in the gutter and she's getting flipping 12 pins? That's embarrassing. So you lost, lost. I took an L, but you take two hours W, you know what I'm wow. saying? Like, come on. How did that end? Um, it ended, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's living her life. I told you, she blocked me. It was a lonely Valentine's. But um, yeah, me and my boy, we, we were just chilling at home. So at my house, we just sent a text message. We was like, all right, let's message some girls, see who's free and available on this day. <laughs> Messaged a few. And one came through for both of us, innit? So we was like, all right, let's see who's got the better looking date, innit? Obviously, anyone could be a catfish online. So we've gone, we've gone to an arcade mm. and we pretended we didn't know each other, innit? So you know, like when you're at the ticket, you're Paying yeah, yeah, for your, yeah, your vouchers yeah. or whatever, just look, just talking to each other like. But their backs are turned, so they don't see us talking. We're just playing bumper cars, uh, ramming into, high fiving. Yeah. <laughs> and but they yeah, didn't find out that you yeah, each other it, yeah, it, was, it wasn't spectacular. So like, I cut ASAP. Like he had a great time. His thing was all right, so I was vexed. It's actually kind of mad, isn't it? Because I, I just used to be very picky when I was younger. So I think uh, basically, me and my brother, we went on a link, yeah. Because um, the link is dating. That's so funny. Like it's like it's ultimate. 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 You know what I mean? It's a So, mean, like, um, and I remember we jumped on a bus sort of thing. We were supposed to go to like, cinema, we were supposed to go to like an arcade with them, we were supposed to do bare stuff, bare fun, active, like, kind of things after the cinema. Then I remember we got on a bus here, and my bridge in there was like looking at like the girl's nails, isn't it? And she was one of these girls that like, bites her nails like down to the. All the way to the. Um, like to the bone, bruv. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> and. So he was holding her hands in his hand and he was like, oh, like, what the hell? And he said it out loud. I turned around, I looked at it and I was like, I was like, yo, what the hell? <laughs> and he started looking at me like, bro, like. <laughs> Wrap this up. Like, <laughs> so literally, yeah, the day, yeah, that was supposed to basically last the whole day, yeah, basically lost it a bus ride. This is back in the day. Now your brethren just like, we'll pass on the number, you're going to chat to yeah. the, so the man's called the number, we'll build a relationship. Then I just see it and I thought, damn. <laughs> So you built the relationship. <laughs> Love no, about, no, about to get lost. No, it is. It was, it was, it was actually, when I look back, it's actually, it was actually cold. I literally, I meant to go, go to the cinema with her. So I go to the cinema now, and I just said, I think I just said, my mom called me. This is when you're young. I just get it. It's funny, I had just an unfortunate circumstance where I was on a date, um, and we went to like some sort of arcade, and then as I've like turned the corner, I've seen my friend's husband with another girl in the same venue. And obviously I'm there like, oh, oh my gosh. why did, did he, I did have to see you, it? Though? He hasn't clocked me yet. So you could get away with it. So I'm know? like, all right, cool. He hasn't clocked me, but I need to just verify. Like, my, what my eyes are telling me is true, but I need to verify. So I'm like, to the girl, I'm like, listen, this is the situation, just check. Does he have a ring on? Like, does he, is he this? Like, <laughs> like, like <laughs> just true. check through. Like, he's, he's got a mole on his, <laughs> on his cheek and that, like, just check. And she said, yeah, yeah, that's him. I said, ah, oh, man. So now, obviously, I've seen it. Blood's on my hands, innit? So obviously, 
the whole day, I can't even concentrate because I'm thinking, dude's downstairs cheating on his missus. And I had to go and blow the whistle. <laughs> Snitch, right? But, but, the, but the, the, the girl is my bridging, though. Oh, Do you get okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not my bridging like yeah, that. She is. So I had to kind of blow the whistle on that. And then obviously he's like, Oh, but if you saw me, why did you say that? And I was like, I was a pussy all about it, didn't it? You know I wasn't going to interrupt your date. I was on my date too. I didn't have time. No, you've been holding my hand, kissing my forehead and my nose. <laughs> We've got something here. When I'm in love, yeah, for some reason, everything is just bright. Don't act like you ain't picked out baby names. Don't try it. I haven't. Now what? It's all love. 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 It's all love.